Now this journey has spanned over half a year, and what happened half a year ago was that I got into split keyboards. And a split keyboard is pretty much a keyboard that is split in half. And why do you want that? Well, for ergonomic reasons. But this video is not about split keyboards. This video is about Vial. Now Vial allows you to do a lot of different things like add layers to your keyboards, use super keys, and also use combos. So I'll be talking about those functionalities throughout this video and how they made the keyboard work for me. Okay, so the uh, first layer that I have on the keyboard, well, it's the basic QWERTY layer. This is where I can write, of course, any letters. And this lower key right over here on the bottom right side is the space bar. Space, space. And if I want to uh, capitalize any letters, well, I use something called a combo as shift, like this. Combo or combo. Now, I also have other modifiers like Control and Alt as combos over here. This is Control and this is Alt. So to access this layer, I press this key, the bottom left key over here. And that needs to be held down for me to be in that layer. So I hold it down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. I can also combine the numpad with shift for the symbols on those numbers. So all of these symbols right over here with shift. When you are trying to optimize things, you're trying to kind of pack as much functionality into a key as possible. So these keys over here, I have something called tap dance. And tap dance is when you kind of layer a lot of functionality onto one key. This is also called a super key if you want to look it up. And the super key allows you to have four different functionalities in one key. If I want to press one of the F1 to F9 keys, well, I double tap a key on the numpad. So one would be F1 if I double tap it and so on. Since I made this video, I actually changed it to tap and hold instead of double tap. So there is no F0 key, so that one doesn't have one, but F1 actually opens up the help menu here in NeoVim. And this is how that looks like. I also have all the other modifiers that I might need. So for example, tab and caps lock and the windows key. I guess all of these aren't modifier keys, but they're keys that I would need every now and then. And those are pressed over here. Oh yeah, and uh, on this numpad and uh, mod layer, I actually also have my backspace. So the backspace is right over here. So to access the mouse layer that I have, I press this combo. And this combo is here. Now I can use a WASDA system right over here, like so, to move the mouse. To left and right click, and also to kind of slow things down because the mouse moves pretty fast, I press these buttons. So I press click click over here. And to slow things down, I use this key. It's not perfect, but it works as a basic mouse. You might also notice that whenever I press the combo, I'm actually releasing one of the keys. So that makes it just a bit more ergonomic for me, because it's really tough to hold two keys at the same time versus just one key. And I think this is a really cool hack, or I guess it's more of a uh, optimization, you would call it, with the way that you can use these combos for your needs. So look at this. I'm pressing and holding the combo, releasing, and now I can still use the mouse. 
One thing to mention about all of these combos and customizations that I'm making is that they work perfectly for my hands and my keyboard and I have placed them there for me. And you need to find something that works for you when you decide to customize your keyboard. Now for the uh, arrow keys. Well, I actually do the same combo for the mouse, but on the uh, left side. And this is how it looks like. Now I can use a WASDA arrow system right over here. But also, the cool thing is that I actually have two different arrow systems. And uh, this other system is because NeoVim uses a different type of arrow system. HJKL for the arrows. So I use it like so. Now this last layer, I'm actually super proud of. It is something I haven't seen anywhere else. And it's a place where I kind of put all the intuitive pairs that I consider and use often. To access this layer, I press this combo. On this layer, I have brackets, like so. Squared brackets, rounded brackets, pointy brackets, and also have a lot of math symbols. So all of these symbols right over here, easily accessible, and some media keys, like volume and song control. So moving around has become something I, I guess constantly optimize. And in NeoVim, which is the uh, program that I'm currently writing in and showcasing on the right side over here, it is very easy to move around. And it is because I use something called Vim Motions. Now, I also put some uh, desktop, I guess macros on the numpad because I use tap dance over there, so I can kind of overlay all of that functionality. And that allows me to move between desktops with ease. So moving around on a browser is something that I always use my mouse for, but it is something I use now the keyboard for. In Chrome, I use Vimium, and that is a really cool plugin that allows me to move around with Vim motions. Now here's a quick example of that. I move around, I want to click on that, I find the link, I press the keys beside the link, and I kinda jump around with the Vim motions that I'm already using in NeoVim. And if I want to make a new tab with T, I can do that. I can go to a previous tab, or I can go to the next tab. Easy peasy. It's really interesting when I'm actually looking at the functionality that a 100% size keyboard is trying to give you and I'm realizing that it's just not optimal enough and that there are other ways to do things better. And that is, I guess, the whole essence of this video. If you have any questions about Vial or custom keyboards, or if you just want to share your own custom keyboard journey, well, comment down below. My name is Paul and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.